So it's finally here. Taxi Life has landed on Xbox Series S and X, PlayStation 5 and PC. Is it worth the taxi ride or is it a walk home in the rain? Let's find out. As an avid simulation fan, I'm always after the next big simulation game. That one game that will allow me to sink hundreds of hours into it. That one game that will really immerse me into thinking I'm actually doing what I'm simulating. And Taxi Alive could be that game. But unfortunately, it just missed the mark and here's why. Graphically, the game is nothing short of beautiful. Massive kudos to the team at Simteract for recreating Barcelona. They have done some exceptional work here, from the architecture to the road layout, the environments, it's all just simply breathtaking. And it's a joy to drive around just to look at all the sights. Reflections on your taxi bonnet and hints of light bouncing off the chrome of your dashboard also look incredible. And you can see that the devs have really put in some effort here. Currently, the PS5 is suffering with some stuttering issues and the Xbox version also suffers too, but not as bad as the PlayStation 5's version does. But I'm sure this can be fixed in a future patch. Performance wise on console, the game is running between 35 to 45 frames per second, depending on what is going on in the game. So if you're a 60 frames per second purist, this might not be the game for you. The vehicles that you drive all look really good and have a fantastic feel about them. Each one with their own characteristics and advantages. You can really tell that the Simteract team did their homework when it came to the look of the game. Repairs and refueling is also a thing in Taxi Life too. Over time, your vehicle will pick up dents and bangs. Your tyres and brakes will start to wear, so you'll have to visit one of the many garages scattered across the map to tend to your vehicle. You can even customise your vehicle colour, its interior, what tyres and rims it has, dashboard accessories, and so much more. As well as a great look, the sound design is top tier too. You can hear the hustle and bustle of the Barcelona city, the murmur of passerbys, the hum of other vehicles, emergency vehicles on their way to the next emergency. It all looks and sounds amazing. The actual gameplay loop is very well done too. You are the owner of your very own taxi firm. You buy your first vehicle and hit the road, taking on fares from passengers around the city and taking them to their destination. Each passenger hops into the cab and may even strike up a conversation with you to which you reply with multi-choice answers via the D-pad. They may even have requests like turn on the air conditioning or turn on the radio, it's all very immersive. As you drive around the city there are random events like car and road accidents that you have to try and navigate around to which, which is a nice touch and adds even more immersion to the experience. Once you have enough cash in the bank you can buy a new vehicle and take on employees who can drive for you. The roster of potential employees all have their advantages and disadvantages. One employee may bring you extra profit if they drive a particular type of vehicle, but they also may go sick often, and these are things you have to consider when taking on a new driver. You assign them a vehicle, an area of the city to cover, and an eight hour time period to cover the said area. And this is where the depth of the game really comes into play. Each area of Barcelona is sectioned off, so for instance there are tourist areas, residential areas and so on. So if you put a driver on a shift from midnight to 8am in a residential area, they aren't going to make much profit, so you really need to think where you post your drivers and at what time. There are locations marked on your map of spectacular architecture in Barcelona for you to check in with and street art too, which is a nice touch. With them marked on the map, some of the street art is tricky to spot and you may have to go off the beaten path to find them. This all sounds so good and really immersive, but unfortunately, at launch, it has its flaws. First of all, let's talk about the AI. To be fair, the AI is actually quite, well, intelligent. But the whole point of this simulation is to make money and progress and the AI doesn't like you doing that and will do everything in its power to stop you from doing so. The AI vehicles will slam you from behind on a regular basis that you have to pay for repairs. The NPCs will just step out from behind trash cans and park vehicles into the road and cost you hundreds in compensation. 
the police vehicles will slam into you and have the balls to give you a ticket for causing a traffic accident and after a while it all starts to become a little frustrating. Now with obviously with time all these issues can be ironed out with patches and updates but the community is slightly apprehensive about that. Train Life was released two years ago by the same developer and publisher and still has issues to this day with a save bug and has never been resolved. Don't get me wrong, they didn't completely abandon the game, but things still needed tending to on Train Life and that's the fear many Taxi Life players are facing now. Sinteract did put out a social media post that they are aware of the issues and are working on them to resolve them as quickly as possible. But that is a good sign. And then there is the elephant in the room, the lack of wheel support on console. The way this whole issue has been handled is nothing short of shambolic. Throughout its development, the team said that the console version would have wheel support. Two months before release, they opened up pre-orders and a week later, they announced that wheel support would not be included on the console version and that they would be trying to implement it in the future. As you would expect, this angered many, especially those that had pre-ordered on the promise of wheel support. And as expected, they took to the Centrac Discord and social media to express their anger and frustration and cancelled their pre-orders. Now for me, it wasn't a big deal. I play with a controller, but for hundreds of simulation gamers out there, it was a big deal. They have paid hundreds of pounds or dollars or euros to buy their expensive wheel equipment to immerse themselves into their simulation games. That's the way they play their driving simulators, and a game like this should have wheel support on release no matter what platform it releases on. So I can only hope the dev team manages to pull this off and implement wheel support as soon as possible. The other problem I see with the game currently is its longevity. With about 10 to 12 hours played, I've already had conversations repeated in the cab. I've had journeys repeated. And what will I be left to do once I've completed my skill tree? Bought all the vehicles? Have the maximum amount of employees? What will be left to do without any map extensions or DLC? For this reason, the dev team really need to come out in the next few weeks with a roadmap and inform us with their intentions with the title, if any. There is so much scope here for map extensions and DLC vehicles, etc. That would add so much longevity. If you look at the map currently, there is a considerable amount greyed out. Is this for planned map extensions? So should you buy Taxi Life right now? I would say yes, if you think you can cope with the buggy AI in its current form. That's really the only thing for me holding the game back at the moment. It's a fantastic driving experience on console. The city looks great, the driving feels really good, the passengers and the business management side of the game is all excellent, and you will probably get at least a good 30 hours out of the game before its longevity really wears thin. This is why DLC is a must for this game. At its core, it's a solid simulator on console and PC, and well worth its price tag at £35. But if you feel you should wait for the bugs to be ironed out, and to see if wheel support is added on console, then wait and see what the future holds for Taxi Life. For me, I'll enjoy the game until it starts to feel stale and repetitive. I'm enjoying my time with it, and really enjoying checking out all the sights and sounds of Barcelona. I just really hope these AI fixes come soon. So let me know what you think, guys, down in the comments. Have you bought Taxi Life? Are you waiting for the bugs or wheel support to be added? Let me know down in the comments. I really would appreciate it. I try to read every single comment and I pride myself on answering every single comment that I receive uh, in my videos. But thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you know when I go live and new content drops onto the channel. But once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.